വെൽക്കം സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ടു ദ തേർഡ് വീഡിയോ ഡീലിംഗ് വിത്ത് ദ ഇൻഫ്ലോറസൻസ് ദ തേർഡ് വീഡിയോ ഇൻ ദ ഇൻഫ്ലോറസൻസ് സീരിയോ ആൻഡ് സീരീസ് ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ വി ആർ ലുക്കിംഗ് അറ്റ് സം കീ ഡിഫറൻസസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ വെരി കോമൺലി യൂസ് ടേംസ് ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫ്ലോറസൻസ് ആൻഡ് വി ബിഗിൻ വിത്ത് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ബേസിക് ടേംസ് വിച്ച് വി യൂഷ്വലി യൂസ് മെനി ടൈംസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് എ പെഡിസൽ ആൻഡ് ദ പെഡിങ് സോ what's the difference between a pedestal and pedangle a pedestal is basically the stalk of a flower the stalk of an individual flower whereas pedangle is the is the uh, stalk on which all the flowers are there that's the inflorescent stalk so uh, you can also call it the uh, inflorescent axle uh, axis so pedestal basically it's meant for one flower pedangle it's meant for multiple flowers so not that point when we have uh, a lot of flowers uh, developing on a, a single stalk like uh, uh, development on a, on a, stink, a single axis we call it an inflorescence and um, as far well as uh, we have uh, the development of a single flower is concerned that's called a pedicel so uh, this is the key difference between a pedicel and a pedang going on forward um, a, a very important difference uh, uh which is usually asked in the examination i am the neat the biology examination there's a difference between the spike and the spikelet now spike uh, basically uh on the important feature of a spike is uh, it, it's an elongated pedangle whereas in the case of a spikelet you can you can call the spikelet uh, something like a reduced spike or something like a lesser developed spike so spikelet you have a reduced pedangle a very key uh, differentiator between these two types of inflorescence is that in spike you don't have the development of blooms so uh, whereas in the case of spike let uh, uh, the bracts like uh, structure there so that two structures called glooms are, are are present so not that point so that's the uh, uh, this two are the basic difference between spike and spikelet and and spike uh, uh we know that um, the the uh, and from the diagram itself we know that it's something like a compact arrangement all the flowers are uh, all the flowers of the inflorescence are staying together in a very compact manner and that kind of uh, floral development i mean uh, that kind of multiple flo- flowers developing when it's on a smaller scale uh, we can call it a spikelet so that's the key difference between spike and a spikelet now looking at what's the key difference between a spike and a spadix now uh, in in this uh, particular section i'd like uh, the viewers the students to 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 remind that uh, uh, please go through the previous videos to get a better idea about um, the terms we discuss here we are here we are only looking at the key differences but uh, to get a more broader and uh, something like a nicer idea about uh, these key terms uh, uh, it will be nice to look at our previous videos that the video first and second video in the inflorescence seed so uh, uh, as far as the spadix is concerned uh, as already uh, di- discussed in detail in the second video um, the characteristic feature of a spadix is the development of the spathe which is not there in the spike and spike uh, once again uh, there is no fleshy peduncle spadix the fl- peduncle is fleshy and uh, another very interesting difference is that in spike uh, the peduncle that is the inflorescence axis is completely covered with flowers but in the case of spadix uh, it isn't necessary that the complete inflorescence axis is uh, filled with flowers there are, there are cases in which uh, some from part of the inflorescence axis may be naked uh, as seen in that uh, classical example colocasia so looking at a, another very important uh, uh, case of uh, having, uh, i mean examination in in, in, the, in, the, in the sense of examination point of view is the differences between uh, umbel and capitulum then as far as uh, umbel and capitulum is concerned uh, umbel uh, that's uh, the peduncle ends at a point in the case of capitulum the peduncle is flattened uh, and uh, forms a receptacle uh, in the case of uh, umbel uh, the the, pedun- uh, the the ped- the flowers are pedicellate which means that each individual flowers has a stalk 
capital um, such a stock like development for the flowers is absent which means that the flowers are developing on the inflorescence axis itself so uh, we are we are seeing the case of uh, sessile flowers on capitulum uh in umbel there is only uh, a, a a particular type of flowers so uh, but in the case of capitulum uh which is a uh, uh, which we have covered in detail in the previous video that's a case with inflorescence you have uh two types of uh, flowers uh, i mean that that's florets uh, something which call florets that is tubular and ligulate and uh, another key point is that uh, as well as umbel is concerned uh, it's a modification of the raceme inflorescence whereas in the case of capitulum it's a modification of the spike type of inflorescence uh, uh another important feature is dealing with the in block that is in the case of uh, umbel uh, the bracts form the in block up i mean that, more than that uh, it's usually in a single bowl that is it's usually uh, usually as a uh, single uh, uh, i mean round formation uh capitulum also you have bracts but uh, uh, it it can be in a single whorl but more than that in a lot of cases uh, the the involucre consists of more than one uh, all of bracts that's more than one uh, round formation of bracts are seen in the case of capitulum so these are the um, key uh, difference uh, differences between these two types of inflorescences which come under the uh, uh basic major inflorescence called the simple racemos ris, ris, uh, inflorescence so uh umbel uh, as uh, being uh, as it's uh, explained in this uh, diagram you have the uh, bracts uh, which are forming a single whorl and from the space between the bracts you have the flowers coming out uh, and now the point of flowers are their individual pedicels so uh, but as far as the capitulum is concerned uh, the classical assembly is uh, sunflower heliandus and as and uh, you have um, the development uh, at the uh, the tip of a stem at the tip of a shoot and 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 you have the florets so uh, um, in the case of uh, you have the ligulate uh, florets so uh, uh, and and the uh, tubular florets so so um, students are uh, requested to view the previous video to get a final understanding of, as we had uh, covered the sunflower in detail um, when we discussed about the capitulum inflorescence so uh, it can be easily seen that in the case of uh, sunflower we have multiple oils of bracts uh, which is not the case as far well as uh, the umbel uh, inflorescence was was cons- uh, was uh, ambel <clears throat> in fluorescence is considered now uh, so this is about the third video where we uh, looked at the key differences of uh, between uh, various types of inflorescence com- coming under the simple simple, uh, simple re- receive inflorescence now uh, going on the next video that's a fourth video in the uh, inflorescence series we'll be looking at a uh detailed man we will be looking in a detailed manner at the at the, the third major inflorescence group that is the cymos inflorescence so it's very important cymos inflorescence so which has so uh, basically uh, itself three divisions that is the uniparous the biparous and the multiparous cymos so so we will be looking at those uh, in the fourth video thanks for watching uh thanks